For this project, you will need milk cotton in any color of your choice, a 3.5 and 2.5 mm crochet hook, scissors, tapestry needle, and lastly, eyes and groove. Let's make a magic ring. Leave along a short tail and then wrap the yarn around your fingers. Then put the thumb on the eggs. Then hold the other end with your middle finger. Then insert your hook under the loop. Pull the second loop to the front and twist it. Now let's start round one. For round one, make two chains. Now you made one chain, so make another one. After two chains, remove the ring and hold it like this. Then let's make half double crochet. Yarn over, insert your hook into the ring, then pull the yarn. Now you got three loops on your hook, then yarn over and pull through all three loops. So you got one half double crochet. To complete round one, you have to make ten half double crochet. When you finished making 10 half double crochet, pull the tail and the ring will be closed completely. And for the last step, find a chain 2 and make a slip stitch in the second chain of chain 2. Insert your hook into the second chain and then pull the yarn and pull through the loop. To start round 2, chain 2 again. And this time we have to make increases 10 times. To make increase, you have to make two half double crochet in one stitch. Repeat making 2 half double crochet in each of 10 stitches and when you complete round 2, you will get 20 half double crochet stitches. After 20 stitches, there is a stitch left, but don't worry, just skip it and make a slip stitch into the second chain of chain 2. To start round 3, chain 2 again and then this time, we'll make one half double crochet in first stitch and a half double crochet increase in another stitch. You have to repeat this pattern for 10 times and when you complete round 3, you will get 30 stitches. Don't forget to make a slip stitch in the second chain. And now we will move on to making legs and head for round 4, chain 5. After chain 5, skip 3 stitches, yarn over 2 times and insert your hook into the fourth chain. Pull the yarn. Then yarn over and pull through the first two loops, yarn over and pull through the second two loops, and yarn over and pull through the last two loops. Now you made one triple crochet. For another one, make it in another chain.
After the second triple crochet, skip 3 stitches and make a slip stitch into the next stitch. After the slip stitch, we will make another leg. Make a single crochet into the next stitch and half double crochet into the same stitch. After that, you have to make 5 double crochet into the next stitch. For double crochet, yarn over, insert your hook into the stitch, pull the yarn, yarn over and pull through the first two loops, yarn over and pull through the last two loops. So make 5 double crochet in the same stitch, and then after that you have to make a half double crochet and a single crochet into the next stitch. For the half double crochet and single crochet, you have to make it in the same stitch. Now you got two legs. We will stay continue crochet, slip stitch six times. After slip stitch, we will repeat the legs patterns again. So make single crochet and half double crochet in the same stitch. After that, make five double crochet into the next stitch. Then half double crochet and single crochet into the next same stitch. So you will get like this leg. And after that, slip stitch one time. And chain 5. After that, skip 3 stitches and make 2 triple crochets. When you finished making triple crochet, skip 3 stitches and make a slip stitch into the next stitch. So now we finished making the legs and we will move on to making the head. Remember we are still working for round 4. Now let's start making the head. Slip stitch again and chain 1. Make a single crochet into the next stitch and half double crochet into another stitch. After that, make double crochet increase 3 times. That means you have to make 2 double crochet in each of next 3 stitches. After the double crochet increases, make one half double crochet into the next stitch and a single crochet into another stitch and lastly a slip stitch next. Now round 4 is finished and it kind of looks like a star, that a chubby star. And now we will move on to another row, turn your walk chain 1 and turn your walk and we will start round 5 for round 5 make a single crochet into the very first stitch and make a half double crochet into the next stitch then after that for this round you have to make double crochet increase for 6 times that means you have to make 2 double crochet in each of next 6 stitches After the increases, 
make a half double crochet, a single crochet and a slip stitch in the next 3 stitches and you will complete round 5. After that we will make ears in round 6. Since I am using brown color yarn, I will make the bare ears first and after that I will show you how to make the, the ears for the rapid. When you finish round 5, turn your work and single crochet 5 times. After that, make 5 double crochet into the next stitch. Those 5 double crochet must be in the same stitch. So now you got one ear. To make another one, make slip stitches 4 times and after 4 slip stitches, Make a 5 double crochet in one stitch. After the second ear, single crochet 5 times again and then chain 1 and cut the yarn. Don't forget to weave in the ends. If you want a mini pouch then you have to make two bare appliques. And now I will show you how to make the ears for the rapid. First you have to repeat the pattern of the bear from round 1 to round 5. And then for a rapid single crochet 4 times and chain 10. Because rapid has long ears so we will have to chain 10 times. And then after that, skip 2 stitches, make, well, make a triple crochet into the 3rd stitch. And then after that, make 3 double crochet. That means you have to make double crochet in the next 3 chains. For the rest of the chains, make half double crochet in each of them. After the ear, Skip one stitch and make slip stitches three times. After those slip stitches, repeat the ear pattern again. For the ear, you have to make chain 10 and then skip two stitches, one triple crochet, three double crochet, and then four half double crochet.
When you finish the ear, skip one stitch and then single crochet five times. Then don't forget to first stand off and weave in the ends. If you also want the bunny as a pouch, then you have to make two bunny appliques. Now let's sew the two coasters together. Before you sew, put the round sides in the inside. And I will use these rabbit coasters as, as examples because rabbit has long ears so you may not know where to sew them. So first let's make a slip knot. Okay, I made a slip knot really quick so I will show you again. Make a slip knot and we will attach it at the top of the ears. Insert your hook in both stitches of the top of the ear. And I will show you again how to make a slip knot. When you finished making the slip knot, insert the hook into the loop and then pull the yarn. Then chain one. To sew the two sides together, we will make single crochet or slip stitches. Crochet the two sides together. I want to recommend you guys to use slip stitches when crocheting the two sides together because when you use single crochet, your coasters can lose their shape. You can use single crochet on the ears, but if you use on the body, then it can lose it can lose the curves and the, the shapes. So repeat making slip stitches until you reach another top of another ear. When you sew the bare coasters, you don't need to start from the top of the ear. You can leave the ears and then start from under the ear and single crochet or slip stitches around until you reach another start of the ear. So now I reached the top of another ear, so chain one and cut the yarn. Don't forget to weave in the ends. Now I will show you how to make like this small strap if you want to attach the pouch to the tote bag. First make a slip knot and then attach the loop in the middle on the head and then just chain 50. After making 50 chains, make a slip stitch in the same stitch and then chain 1 and cut the yarn. For the small strap, just chain 7 only.
Now I will show you how to make the heart. If you are using the same type of yarn, then change your hook size. If you are using 3.5mm crochet hook, chain to 2.5mm hook and then make a magic ring, then chain 2. For the heart, make 2 triple crochet and 2 double crochet into the magic ring. After that, make a chain and then a triple crochet and then a chain again. Then we will repeat the pattern in the reverse way. So make 2 double crochet and after 2 double crochet, make 2 triple crochet. When you finished making 2 triple crochet, chain 2 and make a slip stitch into the magic ring. After that, pull the tail of the ring and then the magic ring will be closed completely and you will get a tiny heart. To finish this, insert your hook back into the loop, then chain 1 and cut the yarn. Don't forget to weave in the ends. When you finish the heart, let's make a little strap for the tiny heart pouch. Measure the string length by doing like this and then attach the two ends on the back of the heart. Then tie the two tails together. This is how I embroidered the rabbit nose. Just make an X or a T with black thread. And if you make an X, it kinda looks like Miffy. If you want to color your rabbit, use blush or pink eyeshadow and color on your on the ears and on the cheeks. For the bear's eyes, I used 3mm sized eyes and for the nose, I used 5mm one. You can use blush or eyeshadow to color blush for your bear. You can put 
small accessories inside the pouch and then attach the pouch to the tote bag like this so yeah the tutorial is finished congratulations you have made the cutest bear and rapid mini pouches if you enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to like this video and also click on the subscribe button so i can upload more of like these crochet tutorials in the future if you make one by following my tutorial then don't forget to share your work by tagging me on social media like facebook instagram and tiktok i would love to see them with that being said see you all in my next video bye